Hi everyone and welcome along to today's Quick Fix Clinic. Today's question is from Renee Lanier um, and she asks uh, about water. How much is too much or not enough? Do you always have to make puddles of every colour you want to paint with or can you paint straight? from the watercolour paint? Well, Renee, this is a great question because it's one of the first things we need to work out before we put paint on the paper. Now, you'll see my palette is um, full of lots of different colours and they're essentially in a dried state. Um, and what I have done here is I've squeezed tubes of paint into these wells and the oxygen has um, dried them into more solid blocks that resemble probably closer to watercolour pans, which are those little blocks of colour you get in ready-made sets. So they're at essentially the same stage. Before I start painting, I always wake up the colours I need. And that means, so you can see here, I woke this colour up, there was water in there. It's sort of nicely uh, there's no other phrase really better than woken up. It's just sort of, it's ready to go. Whereas these ones here are dry. They need just a little bit of water in there to activate the color to get some pigment actually moving on the block of dried color there is there. So what I do is I clean, I always have a, a jar of water ready to get my paints nicely woken up before I start. Clean that off, clean that off. Um, and then my palette also has these empty uh, sections here, um, which are really there for you to be able to mix up colors. But it's also there, even if you don't need to mix a color, if you just want to get it the right consistency. So for example, my French ultramarine blue here, it might be that I want it a really, really dilute color before I start. Now, as hard as I try, I'm gonna struggle to just get the tiniest bit on the brush and get it really nice and dilute. So instead, what I can do is use my palette to just take a little bit of that color out of the well and then just add water. Now, the other part of your question was, how much water is the right amount of water? Well, I'm afraid it's all about having a go and having a practice. So you can see here, I'm adding more water each time and it's becoming not only this sort of more um, liquid collecting in the palette, but it will just be diluting that color every single time. So how do I know if this is the right color? Well, I won't know until I put it on the page. So I recommend you having a piece of paper to one side of your actual painting, whenever you're painting, that you can just see what it looks like on the page before you actually then put it onto your actual painting. Maybe that's too dilute. Well, the beauty is then you can go back into your palette, just take the tiniest bit more and add a bit more there. Is it getting to be more what you want? Just keep on adding. And there, that is how I like to work. And then once I've got the right consistency that I want, then I can move on to my actual painting. So that is your little quick fix today. Um, you wake up the colours first and then use this, the empty sections of your palette to take out how much paint you need to then be able to either mix two or three colours together in there and not contaminate the actual palette wells or just to get it so that you've got it the right consistency and dilution.